Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR 2005 Chase with our Cup Crew of Part 52. More of the same. We got Cup at Talladega, and then I think Richmond, I believe. So, there's really nothing much more else to kind of go into at this point in the season. We're definitely going to be a lock in for the chase. Okay, it's California, never mind. So, we're going to have one good race, and then one shit one. So, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, standings, we're good, like usual. But that's certainly going to go down at some point today. But, like, Brendan Gaughan and Casey Kane in the top ten. That is very strange. But either way, we'll get in the qualifying here at Talladega. And hopefully we start okay. Damn. Pull on the first lap. I'll take it. But by how much? Okay. Barely. We only barely got it that lap, so. All right. Let's get into it. I forgot about the Bush race. We'll uh, see where our driver finished. Matt Kenseth won. Good, good for him. I should probably look at that and see where our driver finished. Third. Okay, nice. Good run for him. Now, I'll have to see how he did in points. Hey, he was okay. He got the point lead by 8 over Kyle Busch and 32 over Hornaday. Day. It seems to be about a... I could, you could say a three-car battle, but I think, you know, top five still have a good chance uh, so far. Dale Jr. 7th. He's try-harding it up this season. He's going full-time. I don't, I don't know what, what is, why he's feeling that in 2008, but... He's feeling it, and he, he's still getting his ass beat. Or maybe he's just not running all the races still. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just speculating. Wow, well, no autograph session. That's two in a row where I didn't get offered that. Usually that doesn't happen from what I remember. So that's very, very unusual. So here's our car set up like usual. I put it to default before I win the qualifying and everything. So I, I would imagine we're not going to have... A great car, but we're going to use a two-tire strategy, and that should cheese us enough to get the, the lead after the second cycle of pit stops and have a good time. But like, yeah, like usually we get a really good launch up the start, and then once we hit fourth gear, we're really going to have to just block. Which is kind of typical with how these like default gears are. Once we hit 8,000 RPM, that's when I'll shift, and there we go. Tony with the run on the... Outside, good lord, I I couldn't even block that if I tried. I want to go the outside and kind of use Stewart's draft, but I I'm getting like <laughs> I'm getting like trying to they're trying so hard to pass me. I just I don't know where to go and just trying to live my life. Back to third, Michael Waltrip just desperately trying to get around me. Like he, good, <laughs> he's I know this is like the only track in the schedule and Daytona where I like you can do well, but you don't have to go that far. Okay, this is getting really sad. We still can't catch up to Tony Stewart, and Michael Waltrip is right there behind me, kind of giving me like a little bit of an arrow push. That's still, well, I mean, we're kind of gaining now, but it's it's taken us this long to even start gaining a little bit. Like, oh, oh my god. Well, it finally happened. We're in Tony Stewart's draft. Many laps in the making, and we're finally here. Too bad we're going to have to pit like, at lap 7. That's... Oh, how how ironically just tragic. Oh, d d d d that's what happens, Tony, when you block me. Just, just, d you didn't have to do that. We could have, you could, I could have just passed you, and we would have been happy, and everybody would have happy, but no. No, of course not. And now my front bumper is slightly damaged. We'll pit this lap. Other AI drivers have pitted as well. And Tony Stewart finally caught up to me. I don't think he's pissed enough to wreck me, but... See, Tony, like, look at how easy your life is. I mean, we, it took me, like, five laps to finally catch up to you, but you, it only took, like, two. But yeah, we're pitting. Uh, just right side tires, and we'll get a huge advantage with pit row and everything. Just trying to take it easy, not to, you know, wreck or anything. All right, that was solid. Just right sides, no, and up those tire pressures to max, and that'll do it. And we should probably cycle into the lead by a very disgustingly huge margin. Of course we, we, okay, sure. Of course we have to have issues when we do just 11, 11, 12. Wow, that's that's sad. That's just, there's just no other words to describe it other than just sad. Like we, we did four tires, that would have been a 15 second stop, and that was 12. Did you, I mean, that wasn't even that much of a gain as I dreamed of. That makes me mad. Oh, yellow came out. And we just pitted. We're not a lap down, so that's good, but of course. Watch, it's... Oh! Oh! Oh, God! Uh, Rusty Wallace, Casey Kane, and... Yeah, somebody lapaged someone. 
Because that's how that wreck looked like it happened. Damn. But we should cycle back out into the lead here. And... Are we? Yeah, we are. Okay, beautiful. Dale Jarrett's... Mm, second. Okay, the field order got a little bit weird. Um, Tony Stewart's nowhere to be found. I think he needed a pit as well. Why did it put me in third gear? This is not the gear I wanted to be in. Well, well okay, I mean, it's kind of got the speed back, but... <sighs> this is not what I wanted, because now... No, it's going to be like the same scenario that happened earlier where Tony Stewart... Somebody, Tony Stewart... Not Tony Stewart... <laughs> Dale Jarrett's going to be like a Tony Stewart of this run, where they're just going to fly right by me, and it's going to take me like five laps to catch him. But it didn't seem like it happened there, so um, I guess all we can do right now is just block. Joe Nemechek's up here, too. Good run for him. He's had, like, better runs this season than past years. So I'm thinking maybe because, like, all the competition keeps retiring, he's, like, slowly moving up. Simply just by outlasting the competition. It's kind of like what Matt Crafton did in the Truck Series. Like, he just he just uh, stuck around for so long to the point where he was like the only one that was like I was gonna say talented, but the only one that was like a veteran, like or the one that's been there the longest, and he has like therefore the most experience. And that's what I want to do. Like, I want to be like a I want to be a race car driver that races for like 30 years and is just pretty much mediocre for like 26 of those years. But those last four. Well, those last four are going to be good, because there's going to be nobody left to race with, and this, I'm just going to be the most skilled. Maybe that's what Paul Menard's doing. Honestly, that's probably a really good strategy. One of these days, Paul Menard's just going to out outlive the rest of the field, and then he'll become, like, really good. It's a, it's a, it's a, I mean, it's a long-term strategy, but strategy nonetheless, and that's actually a pretty damn good idea. So, props to the, those two for, for doing that. I feel like that's, that's the way to go in NASCAR now. Maybe, maybe Brendan Jones will finally be a good driver, as long as he just keeps racing for another 30 years. Well, he flags out one more time around, being Dale and Dale back there. <laughs> just cruising pretty much. Dale Jr.'s finally making the move on him. It seemed like it took way too long for Dale Jr. to do that. But now we got that. Yeah, Dale Jr. is scary in this game. It's just, he's so, he's so damn quick. He always finds his way up here. He wasn't even in the top five, like, most of this race. And here he is. Being just the GOAT at Talladega, it's, it's cute, but I don't think it's enough time. And our laps aren't even really getting worn yet, which is very surprising. I really thought they would have gotten that at some point. That goes to show that the car is certainly a lot better in terms of performance, which is nice. But yeah, he's trying. He's trying, man. It's, it's just not enough. Through the trial, remember the start finish line isn't there. But we'll get the win at Talladega. First and second in this race, 1-2 in the points as well. How fitting. And Joe Nemechek in Greg Hicks' top 10. Yeah! Amy Hicks' brother. We led 9 of the eight, uh, 15 laps. Dale Jr. was 36 and got his way to second. Good lord, what a comeback. Tony Stewart isn't even in the top 15. He got completely screwed by that caution that came out. And he ended up finishing... Oh, my. <laughs> okay. Okay, I must have went over him. He's, I, where is he? I looked at the lap sled, but I didn't see him. Ninth. I was so... I just I just figured he was so far back. <laughs> That's my fault. It's nice to get hero points and all, but I just know it's California. It's just... It's, it's, it's going to be non-existent because we're going to suck. And we're going to hit people and they're, they're going to be mad. I should just already send my... I, I should already start writing apology, like letters. No, Ace, I'm not doing a charity raise. Charity can kiss Timothy Richmond's ass. He wants the money all to himself. So, um, points, we're, we're good on that still. We're just, you know, fine dandy. We gained about a little bit. Rusty Wall's fourth. That's pretty good. Dale Jarrett did finish in the top five, so a good points run for him. Now he's 519 back. And he's only, okay, we have 15 back from Jeff Burns, so it is doable. And Chase is still very up in the air. It could really be anybody. Because, uh, oh my, that's a... Jeff Gordon, 15th. I didn't even notice that. Oh, oh my. And Ray Parker is 18th in points ahead of Jamie McMurray. Greg Hicks is 20th. There's a lot of cars, like, only 100 back. It's still still anybody's game for the Chase in that, in that sense. But, yeah, we'll get into qualifying here at uh, California and... Hope that we start on pole, because I know we're not going to finish there. But maybe if we could just be a roadblock to everyone, we can do that. And uh, Yeah. Hey, anyway, okay. It took us a while to get autographs, but good. 
It took us three races, but or three things, but we'll let down the fans once more. That was probably the worst run of that I've ever done, and we lost 1,500 fans. But I have not played this game in a week. Two, I was playing Wreckfest a lot. Three, Mario Maker as well. So, I'm trying to do different things in my life than just playing NASCAR games the whole time. So, that's that's my excuse. That's kind of sad because that excuse is just like, well, that's like what most people normally do. They don't they play different games. They don't just play NASCAR. Off turn four, that was only our first lap, but that felt so good that I know it's a pull, and it is. That was, again, disgusting. I mean, good lord. 38 32 We could have definitely got a lot faster. But that's good. Good to know. We just gotta survive in a race trim. Which I think our tire wear should be good, but... The handling is another another chapter of this story's race. Hey! Tie Sheets won at California. That's awesome. That extends his point lead, too, so... Good for him. I'm proud of him. I'll show you the car setup here. It is just default like usual. I did that just before I went into qualifying. And yeah, we got Johnny Sauter and Tom is second and third. So we, we, we got potential roadblocks to help us, which is, is good because we're definitely going to need that to hang on to this lead. So we got 20 laps here. Oh my, we'll try to pin on lap 10. Try to, hopefully the car can last that long. We just need to get a good launch off turn two, try to pull away a little bit because Johnny Sauter kind of got a run on me there, which is kind of sad, but it's okay. We'll get it. We'll, our car's fast. It, it's, it certainly seemed like it was fast. And it is. All right, well, uh, I'll see you field. I'm going to try to focus and try to extend this. Yeah, this car is not good. <laughs> We're doing okay right now, but in the corners, this thing is just evil. Like, one and two is really bad. Three and four is pretty manageable. Just, oh, God, it's just, I could feel it. It's just doing that, like, fishtail and weebling and, and moving all around, and it's just really gotten bad. But we'll keep the lead for now. We'll probably lose it here in three and four, though, because Rusty's right there, and it's about that time. I mean, we're just about halfway through our fuel run. And, yeah, it just doesn't turn. And it gets loose. It's, I hate this. I don't. I just don't like it. Can we even leave this lap? Uh, no. But this is where it all starts to fall apart, so... It begins. So we'll go into turn one, try to get back to the bottom. And we do very nicely, all things considered. Junior might pass me on the outside, but we just gotta have to put ourselves in position. Because if we can and make some adjustments on this car down pit road, we can definitely make this a little bit better so it's not so, you know, trash. I really didn't expect to get that big of a run on Rusty, but we'll try. I was going to try to peek it back to the inside, but that didn't. it didn't work. And there goes a top five and a top ten. Just that easily. Kurt? <gasps> God, I'm sorry, Marlene. He didn't deserve that. There it goes. Tyrus finally got worn. Took us eight laps. I, maybe if I didn't, I guess, spin them... I spin the tires out just a little bit. Maybe it could last a little longer, but either way, I just I, there would be no way I was gonna hold that lead. It's just it's just not good enough. I'm pinning this lap. This car has just gone so far south. It's just gotten it's so bad. We just lose so much time. There goes Kane. I guess that was perfect timing. He wanted to pit that lap, but we'll try to cheese it down here and gain. Kane, I, I that, was that necessary? Because that was really mean. That there was just no need for that. We're going to lower the tire pressure to adjust the damage that it really isn't any. I'm, I'm afraid even adjust the wedge because it's so all over the place. We'll just keep it as is, and hopefully the tire pressure just alone can fix the, the car and make it last a little bit longer. Like usual, a 15 3 second stop, and that was pretty good. That was actually really good, all things considered, and yeah, that's... I mean, we're not really... We just gotta see if this car is any better this run. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Even uh, our outlap speed. Certain tracks are better than others, I think, but it's not like NASCAR 14 bad, where it's really, really bad. But, you know, we really didn't even gain much there, so. We might still be in the top 10, but we're just going to really bank on that tire pressure. Just, you know, fixing the issue with this car. Okay, that was pretty good in that corner. Get by Ricky Rudd, move ourselves into, I think, virtual P8 or literal P8 or whatever it will be when we, you know, all the cycles out right now. And... Okay, never mind. It'll be seventh. Well, that's good. The field is definitely spread out a lot more, so maybe we can run them down, or they won't be caught in the draft. Because it looks like a super, it's like a super speedway track for a bit there. It's just that's all they were was just in a big pack. But everything looks better now. The car is handling a lot better. It's grippier. Well, we do have fresh tires on it, but doing shit like that in turn three does not 
you know, help our favors. I mean, all, all I really want now is just the top 10. I just don't want to blow that out of the water. Nice run off turn four, get to the inside of Dale Jarrett, and maybe even Elliot. So look at Brendan Gaughan helping me out. Well, that's nice of him. Now we just gotta try to make turn one, and not, you know, choke. Take it easy, put off the gas, the thing wobbles around a lot, and it's still, it's still not perfect, but... Hey, we got up to fifth. Now, Brendan Gaughan, if we can try to get around him somehow, without him blocking me, then, you know, I feel like we can, you know, maybe get fourth, but... He's gonna be a Mr. Mr. Grumpy Pants McGee over here trying just just racing. How dare he? And there we go. Yeah, perfect. And we'll move ourselves up to fourth. We just need to clear him. But a little good, good little run for Brendan Gunn. I appreciate that. Matt Kenseth is leading. I think Dale Jr. is up there. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. I think Rusty's in third. But I just want the spot. Brendan, just just accept it. Just accept it. I mean, if you know how I race at this point, you should probably be like, okay. I'm going to let him go by, his car is going to suck at the end of the race, and, you know, that's when I'll make up the spot. You don't have to race me so hard now. You'll pass me later. It's I, it's okay. I know it'll happen. And not even a lap later. Not even a lap later. Well, about a lap later. <laughs> and we're, our car is just starting to fall apart. Like usual. It's just, it's just that time of the race. See, Brendan Gauntlet, you didn't have to worry. Like, it, uh, you will come back to me, whether I like it or not, because the car is just going to suck. Nice run there on the front straight. We will peek to the inside of Sadler. We'll at least get the spot back. So, hey, at least we're able to fight for that spot again. That's pretty cute. But I just, it's not, it's just going to suck in turn one. And he's trying, but, you know, he's going to try to hold the bottom. And it actually worked. Nice. There it goes. Yep. Back to... No. Yes. I mean, we got Rusty's... Well, we don't really have Rusty Strap, but we're... I feel like we're spiritually getting it, but ultimately it didn't work. So, alright, have fun, Sadler. I tried. Uh, no, okay. I tried. Damn it! Eh, we got Sadler's draft a little bit. Maybe this can help us on the front straight away. Uh, no, it really didn't. I... I... <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to do that much. I just... I want to get closer to Sadler. I don't know. Well, either way, this is still a pretty good, good little, little run. Trying to desperately hang on to a top five. This car is definitely just starts sucking now badly. Oh, I can't. I mean, we're there on Sadler. We're getting his draft, but it's not enough. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose our top five. And the second somehow cross him over, it, it didn't feel like. It. It didn't even try to cross him over there. It just, it really didn't want to do anything for him, so. I'll take six. See, gone, like I said, you were going to try to get, I mean, I'll, I'll take I'll take six. That could have been so much worse on so many levels, but it didn't happen. Kenseth won, good for him, but. Ah, oh, man, that was just rough. That car just sucked. Kenseth led 11 of the 20 laps, and there's Rusty led the other three. Johnson with one, Sally with one. I think we led, yeah, we led four. So good, good, good overall, and I don't even know where Jeff Gordon finished. He just has a has had a very awful. Okay, it's nine, but yeah, that's a good rebound for him because here he started 38. Dale Jr. started up there too, and I don't know where he finished. It definitely didn't look good. Oh my, oh my, 25th. He started fourth. I, he dropped like a rock. But yeah, we'll look at the points and see how it goes. Amazingly, I don't think we're really gonna have any rivals or negative. Points. Yeah, there we go. We're good. We don't actually have anything going on this week in the uh, thing, so uh, we'll just sim this stuff and see where our driver finished at Old Spice. We got DG <laughs> Dennis one and Kenny Wallace. Hey, that's 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 I, I'm not used to seeing that. Uh, they, okay, then next week or next part will be Richmond and oh the All Star race. Okay, well, I think we'll do good in that. We did good there last year, so I would imagine we would do good this year. And points. Let's see how we do in the points. Uh, we're still good. 235 over Dale Jr. And there's your top 10. Dale Jr. just cracked in it. So, again, very interesting how the season is going to shake up. I didn't even look at the... No, not the track performance. I know I'm, I'm, I'm amazing, but not, not now game. And, hey, Ty Sheets gained a little bit more on Kyle Busch, so good for him. And I should look at the race shop and see where he finished specifically, but I would imagine it would be pretty good. Second, 
Nice. So in 10 races, except for the one where he got 42nd, that must have been a blown engine or something. Every Other, other than that, he's been in the top five every race. So d- damn, he's he's creepy. He's absolutely creepy. I'll, I'll give him that, but he must have that creepiness on the track too or people don't want to be around him because he's, just, he's very good. Big shout out to my tier three Patreon supporters, the Dan Rollins, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazarin, Dave Funner Champ 15, Alan Gray, Morris Sports Games, Robert Dillon, Zach Page, and NASCAR number site.org for a donation again. I can't thank guys enough for your contribution and support to this channel. Every single month like this, like like usual, just means a lot, and I'm just very thankful and grateful for the support. I'll see you all next part for, like I said, Richmond and I guess the All-Star race. Though I think what I'm gonna do to make sure the game doesn't crash itself. I'm going to record Richmond separately, save the game, because I think we'll get that as, I think that'll be an easy win. Not not certain, but I'll do that, save it, then I'll go, go do the all-star race, because we had that issue last year, and apparently that's like the, the only one, I guess it's my game thing, I don't know if others have that issue, but it's just very weird, so I don't want to keep redoing Richmond like four different times like I did last season, because the, the game kept crashing on that for some reason, but... Other than that, um, that'll, that'll be it. So uh, I'll see you all next part, and I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.